It's that time again. <laughs> Welcome to the hot and spicy. Been fancying a curry and a curry I shall have. Homemade. Um, if you can see that, it may not look too appetising there, but it is. It's, um, God, that was hot, as in temperature. Some rice, I'm trying a different thing with rice. And some poppadums. That's it. Eyes bigger than. Um, from Lidl's by my good lady again, Mrs. H. Where does she say? Bear with me. Birds and the Bees. I don't know if you heard of this one. Golden Ale. Birds and the Bees. 4.3%. Uh, Not very strong. We're using the old, we're using the old small glass today. So how are you doing yourselves, are right? Very lagerish colour. Hmm. Oh, with every penny, I did taste it. <laughs> um, there's a hoppy, hoppy taste to it. I don't like anything too hoppy. <laughs> like it quite sad. Do you hop too? I oh, forget it. It's too early on. That's bad pouring that. But uh, it's very nice. I can't get if it's a citrusy floral. Very nice. Many thanks, Mrs. Right, lamb. Remember, I did a lamb stew last week. So uh, I put about 500 grams in the freezer, half a kilo. And um, this is half of that. So about 250 grams of lamb. And uh, I seared it in the pan. Then, what did I do then? Oh, I, in my, oh I've got some new chilies. The ghost chili, the Naga, um, I forgot the name. I'll put it on here. Um, and I, so I put five of them in, they're dried. So five of them in the little blender, chopper. Uh, I had one of these Jalolki, Jaholki or something, I can't remember the name, I had from Sainsbury's. I had one of them left, I chucked that in. So it's had six chilies in. Uh, five cloves of garlic, I wanted to use them up. Four big, one small. Not that it matters. Um, a bit of fresh ginger, that went in there as well. Blended them together. Brought the lamb out of the oil onto some kitchen roll to rest for a bit. Only seared it. Then... Put the spices into the hot oil, in, and um, mix it up. Added a bit of water, then I added the cumin, coriander, garam masala, fenugreek, curry powder, standard, no heat to that, just the flavour, salt, pepper, uh, mixing it all up, bit of water when I needed to, so it was like a, like a, um, not quite a paste, but a bit runnier. Then I added some tomato puree, a bit, and what else I had? Oh, turmeric, I put in as well, turmeric, um, and four cardamom seeds, crushed them, then put them in. And then, once I was happy with that, lamb back in, lid on, simmer. About 40 minutes or so, going every 10, stirring it. And then at the end, this is my... I'll show you now if I can get hold of it. Don't know how that looks, but that is the end result. Tender lamb. <sighs> Packs a punch. Oh, but you're getting the flavour of the lamb. It's 
tender, the flavours there. Taste the garlic. Now the heat's building. That is stunning. Anyway, enough about my meal. How are you doing? How was your week gone? All right. God, that's nice. The last, well, the last few days has been absolutely for for November stunning days. Mild. Slight breeze, bit of sun, yeah, the odd shower, but you can't complain for November. God, that's hot, that is. Making my mouth water. And what I like about it, I'm not getting Reaper taste. I love the taste of naga. Trinidad scorpions, nice. Scotch bonnet. Um, ghost chilies. Bird's eye chilies. Um, what else is there? Lots. Habanero. Jalapeno. Habanero, yeah. Lovely. It's burning, so the more you eat, it stays and then builds. So the heat for me, tongue, back of the throat, and um, top of the top of your mouth. Just makes your mouth water and water. <sighs> Maybe too hot for a few, but. Hmm, see how good this has come out. If anybody's watching and you see this, and you knew it's um, from Movember, Cancer Awareness, um, it's much more than that now, it's... Um, it's that and mental health and everything to be aware of. Just to be aware of things and <coughs> lovely and fluffy this one. Well. Really proud of myself. Mm. It's only long grain guys. Cancer awareness, mental health. Um, anything like that, depression, anything anybody can suffer, you know. Well, for us, it's men's mental health. Yeah. But in my mind, I do it for, for anybody suffering. Men, women, animals, anything. Lamb is tender, succulent. Oh, the heat is there. Burn. This is lovely. This is what a curry's about. Burn, burn. Mmm. Busy week again. Absolutely flat out. <laughs> Getting used to it now. Mm. That is nice.
forgot to ask, what's on your, what's on your, <laughs> what's on your menu today? Or whenever you're watching this. You don't get a lot of that, do you? Something hot, spicy. Not for everybody. Yeah, wow, that's burning now. And I like to, as weird as it sounds, feel it now, just... That's good. A couple of people sent me a, a clip on Facebook, I think it was. And it said, um, it's been confirmed by some special doctors or whatever they do research that people who eat chilies live quarter of their life longer or something less likely to have cancer um, and other diseases or heart disease or whatever it was and <laughs> so if that's true <laughs> been doing it right all along i got something right for the change because i'm going to go on to this now newcastle brown ale why aye man There we go. Same glass, doesn't matter. I'm not a connoisseur. Probably people screaming. Oh, you can't do that. It's disgusting. Cheers. Oh, that's a nice drink there. Nice change. Not all the time, nice change. Mm. Made a bit too much rice there. Mm. No garlic bread or um, set, uh, Tesco sun blushed. Because as I say, my eyes are far bigger than my belly. Especially when you have a few. You're Ruby Murray, mate. Popping out tomorrow. Two of us. And um, heading. Well, heading out doing a bit of filming. Um, which will be titled, I think, Autumn Colours. And if all goes to plan, that video will be filmed tomorrow, edited and put on this channel by tomorrow night, fingers crossed, or at the latest Monday. So um, that'd be nice. Because we can get out now a bit in, in our own sort of areas. So which that's it makes a difference, doesn't it? And we're so lucky where we live, North Wales, you don't need to travel to um you know, from a city to the countryside or whatever. We're in it, we're here. Uh, Snowdonian, everything's on the doorstep. And it doesn't go unnoticed and we're all very grateful of where we live. Very lucky. He's a big word. Very appreciative, appreci if you can say it. Very appreciative. Appreciative, yeah. You know what I mean? Ooh, that's burning now. Oh, it's gorgeous. It looks like pain, doesn't it? Eyes water. Eyes watering. The hell is that? Eyes watering, heads. Is it? Is, are we? Oh. 
eyes are glazed. So that's um, that's what we're doing tomorrow. Tomorrow's dinner. Well, I've shown. Have a look at this. Do you know what that is? T-bone steak. And what's a T-bone steak? If you don't know, is a well, all it is, it's the sirloin steak and the fillet steak still attached to the bone. And the bone, when it's cut, is a T-shaped T-bone steak. Absolutely stunning. Not far off the rib and all that. A 30 ounce steak, that is. 30 ounce enough. <laughs> the butcher said to me, you going to share it? I said no. Couldn't share it with anybody here, could I? Only the cat. So uh, it'll be done, pan fried. Normally, if if you do it with chips, I'm swaying towards that. But mm, I'm gonna do it like a Sunday ish dinner. Um, and it'll be done later on because, as I say, we're filming for tomorrow. Um, so pan fry it I would do it with a bit of chilli bit of garlic and all that sort of stuff um, but I'm going to pan fry it with some oil and butter um, you know I'm not going to go into detail boil you to death of cooking everything but um, pan fried and it'll be done with some mashed Maris Piper potatoes I'll steam them then mash the butter and salt I got some green beans and then some onion and mushroom gravy I'm going to make. Sounds different, doesn't it? Because you have onions and mushrooms with steak and chips, wouldn't you? Um, onion rings, whatever. Onion rings. So you can steak, chips, onion rings, uh, mushrooms, and tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, you can't eat. But that's a lot of meat there, so... Um, it'll be mashed, only a small bit, beans and some gravy. Uh, and I just, I'm not going to cover the steak in gravy, just cut it and dip, and that would be lovely. Nice change, nice treat that. Because I'm going to say, when the butcher cut it, he was proud of it, he was holding it like that. For the, look at that. <laughs> Very proud of it himself. Anything else to report? Are we? Hmm. Are you able to get out for a curry or a you know, meal? Or take out? Take out, yeah. Hmm. Did I say the other day? Helicopters flying over here, back, and it's all to do with uh, I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here, Greer Castle, which is only up the road here. So they're flying people in, or whatever crew, and all sorts of stuff. I think Anton Decker already there. Someone spotted Ant in Conway yesterday, so he's there. Well, they've done some filming because it's on the Mrs. H show me on the TV. Trying to do a see. I don't watch. I don't watch that myself. Um, she'll watch it, but uh, I'll have, I'll have a look at it because of where it is. This I'll just pop in, but I'm not. I'm not a. I don't watch it. Um, you know, I'm not. That doesn't do much for me. Though. But it's good for the area. Yeah. Hmm. 
it was nice to see how they've set it up. They're showing their table where they're going to be broadcasting them to, where they talk, you know. Um, but you've probably seen it yourselves. There was a lot of meat in this. And I thought to myself, this is good. <laughs> and I only put half. But it's um, getting quite full. Hmm. Stuff him right in his face as he says it. Yeah, so the old menu, where we have him. Hope you enjoy it. And a few things to do this week. Next week, sorry. Yeah, so I thought I'd treat myself with the old uh, T-bone steak. <sighs> Lovely. Cooked on the bone. Oof. You can keep the bone after and make a... Well, do you need a bit more, really? But you can add to making a, a beef stock. A nice drink that nice change I've gone on again I bet right then that was hot but nice just what I class as nice no overpowering I know I've had it I'm in throbbing in the mouth my eyes I glazed, mm. not sort of beading my sweat when I'm hot, my mouth's watering, so all the old signs of heat, um, really, really nice, I'm stuffed to the gills, mind you these don't fill you but rice, beer and that, um, there's only a bit in the corner there, um, it won't go to waste, I will, um, as I say before, as disgusting as this sounds to some people, I'll, I can eat it cold um, with a couple of these, just finish it off later on as I'm editing or uploading or watching a video or something. So that's nice and the burn now is what it's all about. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Anyway. Have a great weekend, whatever you're doing. Thanks for joining me again. And um, what else is there? See you in the morning for the old, uh, if you follow me on there. Um, it's a special one, that one, because it's using something um, which has just come out. So that'd be nice. You'll see on there in the morning. Um, if you follow me on there, it's going to be a longer video because I'm reviewing something and comparing it and um, and shaving with it, obviously. So um, I have um, put a timestamp in the in the video under the video, explaining the video anyway. Um, so you can jump straight to the shave if you're not interested in the review and the look of this whatever it is. But um, yeah, so if I see you on the, in the morning, if you follow me there, um, and hopefully see you tomorrow night at some point, well, tomorrow night, our time, for this um, autumn colours video uh, when we go out. Uh, if not tomorrow night, as I say, until Monday, depends on time. Hopefully tomorrow night, though. So have a great weekend. Thanks again for watching and for your company and for the chat. That was absolutely stunning. It's a taste I love, a heat I love, and lamb, which I love. So all three things, homemade, you can't beat it. So I'll leave these one side for a minute, finish this, and then uh, that is it. Finish it cold later on. <laughs> a couple of spoons full, never waste anything. All the best, and I'll see you, as I say, hopefully tomorrow or Monday. Take care.